Hi everyone and welcome to the VMD tutorials for beginners. Today we're going to learn together how to calculate the radial distribution function for a trajectory using VMD. So before we go to VMD, let's have a look on what does the RDF mean or the radial distribution function. So we're going to call it the RDF or GR. In statistical mechanics, it means or it describes how density varies as a function of distance from a reference particle. Or in, in, in another words, or, or in a simple way, it means uh, or describes the, the probability of finding uh, a particle or a molecule at a distance r from a reference molecule. So you want to study the interactions between two, uh, two molecules, a protein and water, a protein and ethanol, or, or ethanol and water. And you want to study how do they interact during a simulation. So you're going to calculate the radial distribution function between these two molecules, taking one of them as a reference and calculated uh, at the distance r. So uh, the, the, the radial uh, distribution function usually determined by calculating the distance between all particles and uh, bending them into a histogram. Then we normalize the histogram uh, with respect to the ideal gas and or three dimensions, which we usually work on with proteins or small molecules, or I mean the simulation in three dimension. The normalization is the number density or the density of the system multiplied by a volume of a spherical shell. This I'm trying to explain to you how VMD think about uh, calculation of RDF. So we are not going to calculate in this way. It's going to be very simple. Actually, you will understand that there is no meaning for uh, for uh, normalization if you are using the periodic boundary condition. So at the end, you're going to get something like this, which is very simple. I mean, this is from a paper. I, I use it randomly. It's an effective solvent on prepared hydration, water structure, and dynamics. So in the red here, this is the radial distribution function between DEMSO, which is solvent, and water, and blue one, Dot one, it's uh, the RDF between glycerol and water. So, and here the distance R, they have 10 angstrom, and this is the probability or the GR. So, from this figure, what we understand is the probability of finding them so close to water is much higher than or double the, the probability of finding glycerol close to water, which is, means that they are interacting more in case of them so and water more than in glycerol and water. So to do that in VMD, it's very simple. Let me close this presentation and go to VMD. I got a small trajectory, very small, because I don't want to make the video very long. To, it's meaningless to wait for the calculations. So I have a protein in water, which is, I think, just it's five frames. So let's remember. Mode DCD and yeah, six frames. Uh, and this is the, the, the a protein in which we see there is only water, there is nothing else. So, to calculate the RDF in VMD, we will use the graphical user interface. Very, very simple. Ex extensions, analysis, and radial, uh, radial pair distribution, GR, okay? Here. You choose the molecules, since we have only one, so we'll choose the protein in water. And here, the two selections, one of them will be the reference and one of them will be the, the other pair to be calculated accordingly. So for selection one, we can say protein and let's say water. And I'll choose all the frames because it's very, uh, I mean, it's very very short trajectory. Taking some coffee and, sorry. And here is the maximum distance. 10 angstrom is enough because there is no meaning to make it like 20. It will uh, make the calculation longer and it's meaningless because we want to understand how close they come together. So what's what the meaning, what the meaning of having 20 angstrom uh, distance. And here is the increment or the change. So it will give you the probability every uh, 0.1 angstrom. And here I'm using the periodic boundary conditions, so no meaning for normalization because I already set or choose a specific uh, uh, amount of atoms, so it, it doesn't change. 
and I will disable displaying GR because it doesn't work in Windows and you will use your own uh, plotting program or, or Python for example and I will say save it to file and if you have a GPU so you can use the GPU code to accelerate the code to accelerate the calculation and I will say compute GR and you will see the progress from here yeah it, because it's say that it's, it's uh, successful and let's call it RDF for protein and water okay yep we are done so here's my file since i opened it in a text editor it's not very clear but if you import this uh file into an into an like excel or python you will see three columns the first one is r the distance okay and the second one is your gr values or your probability values and the third column is going to be the histogram or the normalization of, of your data. So to get the, the, the figure that we saw in the presentation, you need to plot the first column, the distance, against GR. I mean, you don't have to use the, 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 the last one. So getting back to my presentation, this is what we are going to, 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 to see if we are plotting this data, the Langstrom and the probability. So also, I mean, you don't need only to write uh, protein and water. You can write, for example, if the system was like uh, ethanol and say water. So, so I will say res name. You can use the res name. Sorry, there is a tip here. Res name. Say ethanol, or if you call it E2H, for example, whatever you call the, 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 the residue name in your system. Some people would call it E2H, some people will call it like this. So imagine that we have an ethanol in the system and it's EOH and there is name. Let's say I have glycerol. Okay. And then you calculate and you might make this, for example, if you are interested in very close interaction, you make it five, whatever. Or you, you can write protein, protein and solvent. So VMD will understand here in this system that the solvent is water, so it will it will be the same that as as I write protein and water. So what I'm trying to say is you can use the very flexible language in VMD in this selections. So that's cool. So yeah, it's it's very important uh, calculation, but it's uh, I mean it's very expensive in terms of computational power. So if you have a big trajectory, you're gonna need GPU uh, code calculated, or you're gonna have a very strong machine. Otherwise, you should decrease your trajectory uh, to calculate in a personal computer or in a, in a weak or normal uh, workstation. So if you are interested to read more about this, there are nice books on statistical mechanics. There are a couple of papers on VMD website. So you can read them about the, the meaning of RDF. Hope you understood it. And before I close the video, I have a new uh, idea. So I hope you like it increase the interactions and also improve our theoretical background i will have a quiz at the end of each tutorial and i want you to write the answer in the comment sections and in the next video i will have a new quiz also and i will solve these questions so this time i have three basic questions about proteins number one is why are cis conformations almost never observed in peptide bonds why if you know write in the comment section Number two, one of the 20 amino acids is not curled. Which one and how does this affect the structure of a protein? Number three, what are the most important degree of freedoms in protein structure? So if you know the answer, please write them in the comment section. And if you have any comment about the video content or recommendation or advice, write it in the comment also. And hope you like the idea of the quiz to increase the interaction and to build a good theoretical background uh, as long as the, 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 the practical tutorial uh, that we are learning. Thank you and see you in the next video about Python for molecular modeling and SLARM files to run this simulation application like NMD or Gromax in high performance computing. I hope I can find time to do that and thank you.